What made you put together the, uh, the cookbook? Because we out here on this road, man, and I'm always posting these pictures, and everybody always comment, even like rappers and artists that don't post or don't reply, they text me and be like, shoot me a recipe, dog, or oh, you making me hungry, you feel me? And just, you know, it just hit me one day. Let me do some. You really got everything on lock with that though. Like we really like we might screenshot pictures and fake like we that's our play. Like you really are really stunned with that. I've never seen anybody else do anything like that. That's very um, forward thinking. I remember when he first came to me with this cookbook idea. I said to myself, man, if, if we do it, it can't be no fluke shit, though. It can't be with people thinking it's like a, a two chains gimmick or something. You know what I'm saying? It had to be really like, you know, we got to prove that it's authentic. So I was like, you know, you gotta, we gotta get some looks for it. You got when you do in, when you do interviews for now, you kind of kind of gotta address it in a way where people take it serious. And then the challenge for me was, you know, I don't really write or use recipes, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like how he does his music, you know. He just, when he's feeling the vibe or he in the mood, you know, he just get in there and do his thing. Same with me. I stand at the stove, you know, I might have a few ideas of what I want to do. Uh, I use, you know, I take a survey of the ingredients I hand and I get to it. You know, because it's based on the tour bus cook uh, recipes and the things that I do on the road for him, you know, we have uh, limited space, uh, limited time, limited budget. You know, it's a lot of variables and factors that go into what I do on the road. People ask me, do I love cooking? Well, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, like any other motherfucking thing. But, you know, if I'm going through a day where I'm not necessarily in love with it, it still is it's what I do. So, you know, I, I think the co collaboration came, uh, it came together pretty nice. You know, and he gave me the creative control to, um, which I appreciate, to oversee the project, you know, to take the, the recipes and the things that I prepared him that I know he likes and enjoys and put my twist on it. And you know, like, we, get, we, only, we got all got our own rituals before we do what we do, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all know what two summer things, two chains like to do. And, you know, same with me, you know what I mean? I might, you know, light up a little something or, you know, uh, I, I like to play music when I'm cooking or I like, you know, certain things, vibes going on. And, and I like to be alone a lot of the time when I'm creating, you know what I'm saying? But when people look at me, obviously I'm not the quintessential chef, you know what I'm saying? I look how I want to look, I rock what I like to rock, you know what I'm saying? And one of my biggest motivations is that it's not enough people in this industry that look like me, you know what I'm saying? At the forefront of the game, you know, of course we can always be somewhere in the kitchen, line cooking and, you know, busting tables and shit, but I'm talking about really at the forefront of, you know, the innovative part of the uh, industry, the decision making of the industry, the trendsetters of the industry, you know what I'm saying? The people that's making decisions about the future of food and culinary in a, in a whole. A lot of times I see that people use culinary or, or cooking as, a, as far as, as a job as a last resort. When no one else fails, I can work at a restaurant, I can do some little cooking job, but that's not really taking it seriously or putting yourself in a position to be a decision maker in this industry. The response he was getting from his Instagram posting food, the response he was getting from fans, friends and family, and his peers in the industry, it kind of made him think, you know, and then the simple fact that he likes to be different, you know, you know, one day when we sat down and discussed it, you know, he was like, you know, a lot of people are really taking what I do seriously as far as the food I post. And he would notice that it would get a lot more attention as far as likes and comments on his Instagram and other social media. You know, I mean, and, and when you're considering the space that's limited, uh, you know, I can't use all the equipment that I would like to use to prepare things, so you got to be a little more creative. And, you know, sometimes, and then also the challenge of going down a highway doing 70 miles an hour, making anything liquid or hot, you know, you, it's like life, you know what I mean? Sometimes you don't, you don't have everything you need to... Uh, to, to get where you have to go in life or to, or to meet a certain challenge, but you gotta rise to the fucking occasion. 